Carolina is in the national spotlight tonight as a pair of Senate races could alter the balance of power on Capitol Hill. In North Carolina, incumbent Tom Tillis squaring off with challenger Cal Cunningham. And in South Carolina, voters are choosing between Lindsey Graham and newcomer Jamie Harrison, two Republicans facing tough challenges. We have live team coverage of both races. Let's start with Hunter Signs live in Raleigh. Hunter, this is a close one. It is indeed, Fred, as it has been for quite some time. Tonight, we do expect to know who wins this U.S. Senate race at some point tonight. It's not supposed to be one of those races that's likely to be drawn out over a number of days, but still at this hour, this U.S. Senate race is a close Tar Heel toss-up. It's still a guessing game of who will win the most expensive U.S. Senate race in American history. We've got a historic turnout for early voting. I think we're going to have a historic turnout election. Republican Senator Tom Tillis has ran a campaign on helping small businesses bounce back from COVID restrictions and blasting Democratic rival Cal Cunningham on his morals after Cunningham was caught in an affair with another veteran's wife. I have taken responsibility for the hurt that I've caused in my personal life. I have apologized for it. After apologizing, Cunningham pushed on, focusing on health care, Medicaid expansion, and improving education. Combined, both campaigns have spent more than $240 million in advertisements alone, an historically expensive race. An average of polls shows Cunningham barely in the lead with a nearly three-point gap. Political experts still don't know which way this will go. If 2020 has taught us anything, it's don't try to predict what's going to happen, not just a week out, but maybe a day out. Or even hours. Now, if you remember, Senator Tom Tillis has already had a come from behind win back in 2014 when he was up against then Democratic Senator Kay Hagan. He was behind in the polls going into Election Day, and then he came from behind and won that election by about 50,000 votes. Now the question is, can he do that again this time, according to the current polls, or does North Carolina want change? Live in Raleigh tonight, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte.